Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. So, uh, we are at the beautiful Yellow River Farms here in Knox, Indiana. It's uh, my uh, friend Ryan and his mom and dad uh, run this place. It's a beautiful place. They have fall festivals here, they have pumpkins, they have produce, they have all kinds of stuff. So, uh, what we're doing here today is uh, if you remember, Oh, it's been about oh, maybe two weeks ago or so I uh, done a video uh, making a put a post together for a uh, mega tire swing well uh, we're out here today uh, we're gonna put the uh, mega tire swing up Ryan's got the cross piece for the top of it all done so uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this stump out because this is the original tire swing tree we're gonna get this stump out and uh, replace this tree with a uh, steel tree, basically. And then uh, the tire swings are going to hang from that. So, uh, first things first, get rid of this. And, of course, we're going to move over a little bit and get in a fresh spot. And then we're going to uh, bring the service truck and the crane. We're going to lift the new tire swing post up. And we're going to uh, concrete around it got concrete coming tomorrow so this is going to be actually uh we'll finish the video up tomorrow after we get the concrete around it but today the goal is to get the hole made get the mega tire swing stood up and that'll be today's video but this this oak tree here it probably got ants in it like every oak tree around here gets and uh, it just kind of matured and ended up dying. So uh, there was no other big trees available right here in the area for tire swings so Ryan decided that we're just going to make a steel, a steel tree. We'll get some video of that before we get stood up. It turned out really nice. Ryan Ryan done a fantastic job of making the top part for it. Try to get some of these roots out. But we wanted to hurry up and get this done because uh, the end of this month starts uh, pumpkin season for them. get the exact dates but they've got all kinds of cool stuff here to do they've got tire swing they got like a log swing right there I gotta get up on top of this hill so I can push this over steps done okay so we're gonna start digging our hole for a mega tire swing here so I gotta dig it pretty straight straight walls or try to anyways we don't want to get it too big we don't want to buy too much concrete it's got to be nine foot deep that's how much of the Tire swing is going to be down around. Come a little closer here. Some hard 
digging because it's river ground here. I almost need one of the grave digging buckets for this. got the uh, mega tire swing post in it's set let me well camera's a little oh there that's better but uh it's in that was fun we didn't get video while it was going up because it got a little interesting a couple times but uh it stood up so we got uh seven or eight yards of concrete coming to put in the hole now and we're going to work some concrete inside of the pipe so that it fills the inside up too so uh <laughs> Oh, concrete's here, so right on time. Uh, yep, there's there's our concrete truck. So we're gonna get him in here and uh, get some concrete in the hole. so the mega tire swing is up and uh we're gonna leave it hang overnight from the crane which it's not really hanging it's it's just the crane was supporting it uh to keep it level while we uh poured the concrete around it it ended up having 11 yards of concrete around it so it's not going anywhere you can probably uh pull engines out of semis from the ends of this if you wanted to uh in fact ryan said maybe they'll someday just build a shop around it and uh use it to pull engines no i'm just joking but anyways you could do that you'd have the option it's stout so uh <clears throat> if you want to 
come out and get a pumpkin and try the tire swing uh, they'll be open September 25th through October 31st is their uh, their fall season and uh, come ride the rides on the uh, weekends uh, you can't actually do any of this stuff like the slide and stuff like that it, that's only open on the weekends but you can come out throughout the week and get a pumpkin or something out of the produce stand out of their shop so uh it's going to be a lot of fun i can't wait to see this completely done and uh get to come out here and uh, swing on it myself so uh, ryan said i could come out here and swing for free which it's free anyways but he was making a joke um so on that side is going to be a tractor tire that lays flat so like four people can sit in it and all swing at the same time and then this side i believe is just going to be a traditional tire swing so uh, Ryan's got all that stuff going on. I haven't got to see that yet. But uh, pretty cool. The concrete truck driver comes and uh, he's like, yeah, I watched you build the first part of this on YouTube. I'm like, wow, my videos are really reaching out there. So that was pretty cool to hear that he had uh, seen the video already on the first part of this. So uh, anyways, what we're going to do is we'll come back tomorrow we're gonna get in the man lift, get up there, undo the chain, take it off, and uh, then we'll backfill around it and grade all this off real nice. So, but for now, we're gonna go home for the night and uh, definitely with 11 yards of concrete around there, it's, it's gonna be good and stout. So, uh, pretty happy with the way it worked out because Ryan actually cut some holes in it and it is full up to the nine foot level full of concrete inside that pipe so uh she's good and solid so anyways um we're probably going to do a video with ryan's i think ariel is his fiance i think they're engaged i can't remember i can't remember if they got engaged or not but anyways uh what we're going to do is i'm going to come back during their fall season and uh Ari ariel and i are going to go around and uh she's gonna take us on a tour of the whole pumpkin patch and everything and uh we'll do a youtube video on that it's pretty cool and they also have a mini hay baler that we're gonna do a youtube video on too so i thought that was really cool it makes like six by 13 straw bales so it's it's miniature so i thought that was pretty sweet so anyways if you enjoyed this episode of dirt grain steel make sure you give me a like i'd greatly appreciate that and uh if, uh if you really want to give me a subscribe if you want to keep following so uh, anyways i'm going to shut my excavator up and uh dad strength and i are going to head home so uh thank you for watching i greatly appreciate it and we'll see you all in the next one